guys, so welcome back to Glam Mandy's Life, where I not only do my daily vlogs with my sweet little family, thank you very much, but I do mommy videos as well. In my last mommy video and a few of my vlogs, you guys have asked me about the Baby Catan, and I have raved about this product. This here is the baby carrier that we use. It's called the Baby Catan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we love it. It's the easiest baby carrier I've ever used. It's breathable, it's easy, it's fun. Forrest freaking loves it. And it's not like the Moby. It is the same fabric and consistency of a Moby wrap, but you don't have all that loose fabric. You don't have to put it together. It's not hard to do, and you can do it with one hand in under like two minutes. It's so easy. So today, I'm gonna show you how we use the Baby Catan. What do you think? So the first thing you need to know about your baby Catan, I don't know if I'm even saying that right, but we're just gonna go with it, um, is that you need to know what size you wear. So I ordered the medium and it works perfectly for me. That is kind of the downside is that you don't have a lot of extra fabric to work with, so you do have to order the size for you. The great thing is you can always return it and get the size up or down that works best for you. So we ordered the medium and it has worked amazingly. And you get two things of fabric. You first get this thing that is very reminiscent of a Moby and I, I I'll be honest, I never even used this part. When Forrest was a newborn and right now he's four months, we've used it almost the same way. We've never used this extra pouch, but if you need the extra support, all you do, and I'll show you how to use it if you need to, is you just wrap it around under their butts but we've never used this part because two is another thing you need to carry. We don't want that. So this is what you get. It is two rings of fabric secured with this little ring here. So, so easy. And I know it looks a little bit intimidating, but compared to the Moby and the Soli and the ring wraps and all that stuff, I promise you it is not. So what you're gonna do is you take this, the side with the ring, and you put it over your neck like this get your hair out of there, and then you kind of put it on like a weird vest. So you just kind of put your arms through the loophole so then it looks kind of like a cross. Then the ring is in the back so you guys can adjust where the placement is going to be. Forrest is a long baby so I need him to be lower. When he was a newborn, I wore him up a little bit higher. So as a newborn, how are we gonna do this? We'll use Panda as a newborn. If you're gonna be using him as a newborn, how I did it with Forrest, is I kind of adjusted it to the way I needed to go and you can move the ring up and down your back to the length that you need it at. And all you gotta do as a newborn is you kind of just put them, not like this, don't be this rough obviously, but I kind of just placed him like this and he was secured right here, really close to my heart and kind of cradled. But we didn't use it that much as a newborn because we didn't go out that much. Now you need to make sure you identify the lower part and the upper part of the cross because that is gonna help you immensely. A quick tip that I use, because I'm mostly using this when I'm out running errands, is I will shut my car door and use the reflection of the car door to make sure that I have the lower piece because sometimes when you're a little bit frazzled, you don't, you get a little confused. So now that you have your baby, all you gotta do is you're gonna push him up against your chest and again, remember which side is the lowest. So I push him up against my chest and I put one leg through one part of the crisscross and then I switch around and I put his other leg through the other part of the crisscross, just like this. So again, this is where the lower part looks good. So I'm looking in a mirror because again, that helps me. So you're gonna take the piece of fabric that is nearest to your body, the one that I had you guys identify before, and this is where the car window comes in handy, and you're just gonna put it across their cute little butts like this, and up their backs, so you guys can kind of see. The next thing you're gonna do is take the outer fabric and do the same thing, and this one goes higher up on their backs. So now you can do this for facing too, but Forrest kind of is happy snug in here. He can hold his head up pretty high, but at two months when he couldn't, we would stick his arm right here. So it goes up like this. He kind of looked like he didn't have any arms. And you can do both arms if you prefer. And we only did the both arms thing for a little while. If your baby is like Forrest, they will love chewing on this part of the fabric. But he was really happy. He can look around. As you can see, he's snug. I can, I can do all kinds of dances. But the one that we use the most is we just keep one arm in to kind of support him. To look something like this, it is so, so easy. It takes less than two minutes to do. You don't have to worry about wrapping and tying or any of that at all. And they love it and they're nice and secure. Right around one month, what we would do is we'd stick his entire head. He'd be a little bit more cradled and we'd stick his head in here so it secured his head to my chest. 
He didn't like that too much, but that is an option that you guys can do with your babies if that is what your babies prefer, since all babies want something different. I'm gonna do a close-up shot of the thing that I just did so you guys can see closer. I put his foot through one part of the X here. Yeah. His foot through the other part of the X, so you could see that there's a clear X on his little butt. And then you're gonna take the lower part and push it over until you feel like he's secure, or your baby's secure. And then you do it to the other side. So it should look like that. And these are large, wide pieces of fabric, so you can go as high as you need to, or as low as you need to, depending on the size of your baby. What do you think, baby? <laughs> and so, let me show you guys how to take them out, and it's even easier. You're just gonna undo their hands, you hold them like this, make sure you the fan, and there you go. Well, that is how you guys do the baby Catan wrap. Let me know if this helped you guys out. I really hope it did. It is so, so easy, and it's so fast that I hope that you guys choose this wrap because as a mom, I don't understand how women can do the Moby Wrap. I tried it, and it was horrible, and I just felt like crying. So I hope this helped you guys out. I will leave a link to the Baby Catan below. They do come in different colors as well. I personally just like the black. But yeah, so I hope you guys have a great afternoon. My What is in My Diaper Bag video is going to be linked below. Subscribe for more daily vlogs and mommy videos, and I will see you guys in my next mommy video. Bye! Bye! This one is definitely the way to go. It is amazing. It's got a lot of different slots and pockets. We'll go through it all, but I am definitely in love with this bag as a diaper bag. So, in the front pockets here, we've got um, just some wipes. These are the Target Baby Wipes Unscented. Hey guys, and welcome back to Glam Randy's Life, where I not only do my daily vlogs with my sweet little family, thank you very much, but I do mommy videos as well. In my last mommy video and a few of my vlogs, you guys have asked me about the Baby Catan, and I have raved about this product. This here is the baby carrier that we use. It's called the Baby Catan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we love it. It's the easiest baby carrier I've ever used. It's breathable, it's easy, it's fun. Forrest freaking loves it. And it's not like the Moby. It is the same fabric and consistency of a Moby wrap, but you don't have all that loose fabric. You don't have to put it 